everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Saya if you're new here and I like to talk about all things wellness fitness I'm glad you clicked on today's video and I hope you stick around till the end and don't forget to like and subscribe I also really want to thank you guys for all the support on my athlete haul I did not expect that to happen at all which is absolutely insane and now I have 50 subscribers which is like Woo, I did not expect that at all. So thank you, thank you so much. Today I wanted to talk about, as you can see from the title of the video, my gym shoe collection. And honestly, this happened fairly recently. I've got the majority of these shoes fairly recently and I blame my shopping addiction and quarantine and 2020 and anyone but myself pretty much. I have no explanation for any of these shoes but since I have amassed all these shoes in such a short period amount of time I thought it would be fun to talk about gym shoes specifically obviously you can wear these shoes outside the gym I'm not saying like you only have to wear these shoes in the gym but I mostly wear all these shoes to the gym except for like maybe a few and I'll get into that and also I really want to talk about the difference between like what you should be wearing on leg day and then what kind of shoes are good for maybe cardio or upper body day or any other kind of training you may find yourself doing in the gym. All these shoes are either Nike or Adidas. I don't shop anywhere else for my gym shoes usually. First I'm going to talk about my leg day shoes and I really want to get this point across that for leg day you should be wearing a flat sole. I feel like this was a really big thing a few years ago or even like last year i feel like i saw a lot of posts on instagram about the importance of wearing a flat sole and yet i see still so many like instagram influencers who influence people wearing like platform converse those fila disruptors or bulky dad shoe chunky shoes that just you honestly should not be wearing for leg day. And you, why? Why am I telling you this? Because for leg day, you really want to have a solid base on your foot, either by wearing no shoes or a flat sole. Personally, I find wearing no shoes in the gym kind of strange. That's not my vibe. But if it's yours, I don't judge. You know, every person do what they feel like they need to do. But for me, in leg day on the gym in the gym on leg day i really feel like you need that stable base especially if you're doing compound movements now obviously you can be doing compound movements outside of leg day for like upper body or back or whatever mainly deadlifts i'm thinking but for specifically a leg day where all your movements are focusing on the lower half of your body and your feet are attached to the lower half of your body you want a stable base so you're not wobbling about so your balance isn't off so like maybe if you put your weight on your toes or on your heels you can actually feel that pressure when you're wearing a flat base opposed as opposed to wearing shoes that have that cushiony at the bottom. My leg day shoes, I used to wear the Nike, not the Metcons, they were like a cheaper version of the Metcons, but they were Nike. And then last Christmas, so I've had these for exactly a year, I asked for the Adidas Alpha Bounce trainers. They have that really nice flat sole and they really keep your foot in place during your lifts. Now, I'm a regular size 8 in all my shoes, but some of these shoes I've gotten like in youth, boys, and then in Adidas, I know they always run bigger than Nike. So I got these in a 7.5, but I actually should have sized down to a 7. So I'm in an 8, but I should have sized down one full size to a 7 in these just because I would like that tighter fit. So these do have a little bit of room in the toe, but... I mean, if I wear a thick sock, it's not too bad. I know that I'm gonna have a stable base when I'm doing squatting, when I'm deadlifting, hip thrusting, my feet aren't gonna be sliding about or moving. I have ankle support. What I also really like about this is that this front part is like a stretchy, 
stretchy elastic material so like you slip your foot in you don't have to worry about tying it and your foot just stays or like it cups the top of your ankle really nicely the only thing i kind of have a problem with is this fat like ankle heel thing i don't know i don't particularly like this especially when i'm doing like laying leg curls or seated leg curls it really does like get in the way of the pad i guess since i started with adidas i'll just continue with adidas those are my leg day shoes those are the shoes i wear for every single leg day you can check back on my instagram which i'll leave here any leg day i you will find me wearing those those are just my leg day shoes the rest of my shoes are the shoes i wear on upper body days if i'm doing hit okay, so the next shoe i'm going to talk about i've had these for forever like they're very crusty and very dirty and don't come for me they're nasty i know i need to wash them these are the adidas swift runs in all white you will notice a trend all of my shoes are white except for a few pairs and i've barely ventured into like black shoes i really thought black shoes were not the vibe at all but then i got a specific pair and i'm like these are definitely a vibe especially with the right outfit you'd be walking in the gym you're like damn i look hella cute so black shoes i'm definitely loving but most of my shoes are white i think white is just goes with everything such a vibe too so like i was saying these are the adidas swift runs i don't know how long ago i got these i know you can get these like anywhere and they're not too overpriced i think i got these on sale for like 60 bucks but yeah i love these staple i feel like these also have a pretty flat sole um even though they may not look like it i use these on upper body days like when i'm doing conventional deadlifts for back day these are great i got these in a seven and a half and i wish i would have sized down one full size the one thing i do notice i don't know if you guys have white adidas shoes but the white ones always run a tad bit bigger in adidas in white I don't know if that's just like the colorway or what, but I would get a seven or like a seven and a half in another shoe and it would fit perfectly fine. But in white, it's always so much bigger. I don't know. I would suggest sizing down one full size. I love these, wear these, walk in these all the time, do like daily activities in these. I love them. My last Adidas shoe is a new purchase. I saw these, I blame Instagram for these. I saw an ad and they were on sale and i was like well i don't have any time to shoe like that so i guess i need those right i didn't but i got them anyway these are the adidas four future but the f is a four i don't know how to say that future shoes honestly these are really cool i love them mainly for the back so on the side they have like this cool i don't know plastic thingy and then the black squishy thingy and then it says boost right here these are so cool these are boys boys five so woman seven and i did size down a full size to a seven in these and they fit perfect like i have no complaints about these i absolutely love them they're super cute they have a wider base like a wide look to them but i actually kind of like that i think it's different than like the regular narrow base you always see I have one more adidas shoe how could i forget these are my latest adidas purchase and i bought these because of this girl on instagram she posted about them and of course they're white they were super cute again they were on sale most of my shoes i have gotten on a sale these are a five and a half in youth and they are the adidas zx 2k boost but they are so like if i had found this shoe way before my other ones i don't know if i would have purchased those ones because these are everything literally feels like you're walking on a cloud so definitely not good for leg day but for cardio for walking around for running errands these are absolutely beautiful they have like this i don't even know it kind of looks like a blue tint off white and then gray in the bottom and in the front and they're just like absolutely amazing I love these now the rest of my shoes are all nike and let's just get right into it so these are my oldest pair i've had these for maybe a year and a half two years these are the nike vapor max in white 
these I paid full price for because these don't ever go on sale and I was so in love with these. I saved my monies and I bought these back when I was in college. These are a size 8. I would size up to an 8.5 in these just for a little bit more room and they mold to your foot. This part I was scared like wouldn't be comfortable but it actually is very comfortable. I wouldn't wear these to work out. I tried a couple times and I don't know, it just felt weird. So these are like when I wanna look bougie, athleisure bougie-ness, that's when I wear these. They're very cute. I love these. Next, we have the same shoe, just in two different colors. So these are the Nike Air Max Plus, I think, I'm pretty sure. And these are them in black and then I also got them in white because white is a vibe and then black is also a vibe so I got both of them. I absolutely I love these. I love these shoes especially in black. Oh, like they're the best and they have like this contrasting this one has yellow and this one has red and then they have like red and yellow balls inside in the back super comfy super super big these run so huge it's absolutely insane so i think i got a five in, oh these are a six no i should have gotten a five and a half these are both a size six definitely would have sized down to a five and a half youth which is like a seven and a half women okay, next we have the nike graviton gravi yeah graviton shoes air max graviton and i saw a girl on instagram wearing these again but in all white but when i went to go look for them they did not have all white anymore they are super cute i had a size up to an eight and a half because they didn't have an eight and they still fit great um i would have liked an eight better though they would be a bit more snug but i really don't mind that they are a little bit big i can wear a thick sock again and they're super it's not a problem and finally the last shoe this was my most recent purchase i don't think my boyfriend even knows about these yet so please don't tell him if he's watching this video hi i promise these are the last shoes i'm gonna buy for like the next 20 years so these are the nike motion two something motion two and eight so i got my regular size these are beautiful have you ever seen a shoe that is like white on the top and then black on the bottom like this because i haven't they're usually like black on the top with the white streak at the bottom so i thought these were very different i got these from the dick sporting website because on the nike website they were all sold out just an all-around good comfy shoe i actually wore these to the gym this morning they did cardio on back so awesome for like a back day of our body day i also feel like the sole on this is quite flat when you put them on so i would also definitely do deadlifts in these for like conventional deadlifts and stuff that is my little shoe collection i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions on any of the shoes please leave a comment i hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video as it helps my little channel grow thank you all have a good day Ooh, dream, dream. Sunlight.